a lot of your players talk about how you had the game in control and then it's, it's like evaporated quickly. Uh, Brett Kulak mentioned for himself personally two times, just not hunger and determination around the net. You agree with that? What, what, how do you see your team play so well and then just kind of fall off that quickly? Yeah, I thought we fell asleep for a 10-minute span in the second period there, and we made some uncharacteristic errors in areas that we typically have a lot of pride in. Um, and it ended up in the back of our net. Uh, this is a 60-minute league. If you want to win, you have to be consistent with your play and your detail and your execution over a full 60 minutes. Mistakes are going to happen, but um, tonight that 10-minute that span certainly killed us um, and uh, not typical and not good enough. Is there, uh, you called the timeout to try and spark the group a little yeah. bit. What did you sense after that timeout, Jay? And I guess maybe bigger picture about the group and, and the personality, the ability to snap back into place when they aren't where you want them to be. Obviously, it wasn't there tonight, but overall, what would you say? Yeah, you know what? I, I have faith in our group. I have faith in our leadership group. Um, uh, tonight, I, I made that that call to take a timeout to try and settle the group down and and um you know spur something uh, i just felt the the energy in the on the bench and the energy uh on the ice wasn't where it needed to be um you know in the end it didn't work we uh, we gave up two more in that 10 minute span um again things that i feel are within our control i mean uh, if you look at some of those goals, two of them came off face-offs, which is typically a strength specifically in coverages for us. Um, you know, I think uh, we gave up one on the penalty kill that, you know, we can, uh, you know, we could do a better job at our net on. And then uh, certainly when it was a six-on-five situation on a delayed penalty, I just, I didn't think those were goals that, necessarily were something the other team did to us. I think um, those were situations we could handle better. Did you feel your team got its game to a level that kind of gave you a chance to get back in the game and it was just continued mistakes? Like, did they get back to a level you, that you wanted them to, do you think? You know what? We made the, the call to take the time out and, and it didn't end up working. I, I thought um, I didn't love that span in the second period. Uh, I thought we didn't shoot the puck enough. Um, you know, we had a chance to, I think we had a, a good entry, Broberg uh, coming down Main Street there and whatnot, but it wasn't a typical period for us. Um, and then in the third period, we had a few chances, but not enough. Uh, in the end, as I said, uh, it's not a 50-minute league. It's a 60-minute. If you want to win, uh, your details and execution have to be there for the full 60 minutes. And tonight, it wasn't there for us. You, you talked about the energy and, and stuff not being there. What, what's missing? What do you want to see in that situation? Well, I want to see us continue. Uh, you know, I thought we played a pretty good first period. Um, I thought there were some mistakes in the first period where we got a little bit loose. Um, but we were able to overcome it. We had a good start to the second period. We scored a goal in the first minute, um, and then uh, and then we just, you know, we we didn't have uh, we didn't have it for a ten minute spirit, uh, span. Um, you know, in the end, it's not good enough. It's on all of us, coaches and players included. So uh, up two nothing on Vancouver, lost five two. Up two, no, you had a two, and tonight. Um, we're deep into the season now. How concerned should people be that this this stuff is happening? Well, you know, it's it's not uh, that didn't go according to plan. Um, you know, we think there's there's been some moments within our control. Uh, there were moments tonight within our control. Sometimes individual um, error that leads to a goal against. Sometimes it's a collective error with the five people on the ice. Um, tonight, it, it's not pointing a finger at any one individual. There, you know, collectively in that 10-minute span, we have to be better. We own it. No one's running away from it. We own it, um, and we're working our way towards uh, trying to solve it and find find a solution here so that we can get the results on home ice that we want to get. Right. You guys last season played about three months of solid, relatively consistent hockey. If you had a bad night, you bounce back right away. Yep. We're 40 games in almost here, and you guys can't play. You can't seem to find that consistency for more than 
maybe three in a row here. Why is there no carryover from a team that figured it out last year? Why haven't you figured it out yet this year? Speck, I'd say that we're a different team than we were last year. We have different people here. Um, we have a lot of the same people, but we have different people. I think, um, you know, there's been different times or segments of our season. I think we were 7-3 and three to start the year. Then we went 3-7. and seven. Then we kind of hit some injury uh, injuries where we lost some people up front, uh, forced us to do some things to try and find ways to win games. Um, you know, we're starting to return people to full health. It hasn't gone as smoothly as we want it to go. That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't always have to be a smooth sail as long as you're learning the lessons that get presented to you along the way. Your frustration with not putting more than three in a row, uh, you know, to your liking, um, I think is uh, is something that everybody feels. Um, you know, we're we're trying to find solutions to build uh, success in a sustainable manner over long stretches, not just for short periods. Do you find when things aren't going your way, that for instance tonight, there's too many guys between your defenseman and your goalie? Do you need to find a way for this team to be harder down low? You know what, I thought uh, coming out of the break, we played pretty well, didn't give up a lot. I don't know, you have the final shots on net there. What do you have there for final shots on net against? Uh, 24. 24 shots on net. I think in a typical game, if you can hold the team to less than 25, depending on the types of chances you give up, you give yourself a chance to win. Could we have been harder at our net tonight? Yeah, we could. No one's running away from that. But you give up less than 25 shots in a game, you should win it, in my opinion. Jay, when you made the change with Skinner, was that more just trying to change momentum, not necessarily a reflection of him? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think I look at some of the saves he made in the first period. Um, you know, uh, he might want to have that, the, the fourth one, you know, not the goal, but the a shot that led uh, to a rebound. He might want to have that one back, but... So Stuart Skinner's been rock solid for us. I thought it was an opportunity for Jack to get uh, some playing time. Jack went in under t tough circumstances, made some saves. And, uh, yeah, you're right. I was just – I had already called a timeout, and I was just trying to slow the game down a little bit and uh, jolt our team. Uh, it had nothing to do with Stuart's play.